What's up guys? We're back again on the tabletop, which means it's time to finally talk about one of our funnest guns we have in our arsenal. We have enjoyed this thing immensely. So ASG really puts together a good package with this gun. Uh, it comes with a battery, it comes with a charger, it comes with a magazine, it comes with a rail section that can be added here. It is plastic, but uh, it's it's nice to at least have one. The it comes with a extra. I'm going to say more like a barrel extension rather than a muzzle device because that's basically what it does. It replaces the orange muzzle device with this metal barrel extension for adding more devices like this little mock suppressor we put on there and for right now that was just thrown on for you know just the looks because the barrel extension just really didn't look good by itself and I really couldn't think of anything else that would that I had on hand that would that would look right but this will probably be coming off to add a tracer unit in the near future. The gun is it's got a lot of metal in it. It's got a lot of good weight to it. Uh, it's got the metal lower and even though it looks metal and it, it even kind of feels metal to the touch, the upper is of course plastic. Uh, <clears throat> it did not come with the foregrip. We added that. Uh, just a cheap little foregrip. They did a really good job of making your access here. It's access to your hop up is, I mean, the only way I think you gotta really get your thumb down in there, your finger, and hold it open. But it's 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 really easy to get to with your finger, and it's pretty adjust friendly. It's got the little neural knob in here little dial type and I had seen some reports on other YouTube videos that uh, sometimes the hop ups wasn't real responsive but this one seems to be it does pretty good uh, but we do exclusively use 0.20 gram BB's in it uh, some were using 0.12 to get the FPS up a little bit and maybe try to extend the range and uh, a little bit scared of the 0.12's but they, I did try them, and they just did not shoot good in this gun. Point two O's, they shoot pretty good. They, you keep a, at the end of your range, you got a nice straight rainbow on it. They don't really curve away. Uh, it's actually a pretty, pretty straight shooting little, little gun. <clears throat> the grip is plastic, but down here at the battery cover and you turn this to get the battery out and that is a metal battery cover and it houses your little small sometimes you gotta kinda hit the grip to get it to come out it's a little 7.2 volt and it's a micro battery but it, it, it actually ours has held up pretty good we can get a game or two out of it before it starts getting weak and most of the time, uh, for around here, like this time of year, heat of the summer, a couple games, if, especially if they, if they run very long, it's about all you're going to want to do in this heat. So, no, no real issues with this battery. Uh, it comes with its own unique charger, which is pretty cool in a way. Uh, you, I always know which one I want to charge this battery with because it, it won't charge with any other except for the one that come with it. The standard magazines, they pop in a little easier. Really nice click to it. Uh, I really like the look of this gun with the standard magazine that come with the gun. But the only issue is it and a JG one that we got they don't feed quite as good as the drum here so most of the time we stick to the drum 
and uh, I think these are 180 round and this holds more like 300 rounds so uh, yeah so a lot better for Hunter the safety uh, in the middle is safe you got your semi and you got your full auto forward and it's really good clicks on it uh, you're not gonna necessarily bump it uh, when you're out in the field if you're toting it around you see you can put pretty good flick on it there and it, it's gonna stay on safe until you you're ready to go but other than that uh, I believe I believe it's metal pretty sure it's metal you got the metal stock of course squeeze to close always remember to squeeze the close on this thing or you're gonna break it uh, well I say you're gonna break it I'm pretty sure there's some probably some plastic parts this may be all metal parts right here uh, they may have beefed that up from some of the other models but functions very nice and as far as stocks go it is not much of a stock but it does give you a little something to get against your shoulder and I actually get this part here against the bottom of my jawline and since it's so short with me using it and it, it you brace up pretty good and you can actually be pretty accurate with this gun uh, I shoot out to 30 to 40 yards with it and that's going to be about the extent of the range where you can have any kind of accuracy of course you can mortar some rounds out there and hopefully hit someone but and uh, Hunter does that a lot when we're he's doing a little bit of suppression with it and you can you can suppress a little bit with this thing in case you're covering someone or medic like Hunter likes to medic a lot and this is this is perfect perfect for that role it's perfect for a secondary for a sniper role uh, it's small but yet you got a decent rate of fire you've got with the drum you've got plenty of ammo you're not going to run out using it as a secondary and if you're running the sniper rifle and you decide hey nothing's happening here I'm just gonna have to charge in and get in close you can sling back the rifle pull this thing up and you are ready to go and clear rooms clear corners uh, get in the fight with the rest of everybody else but pretty much in the games Hunter exclusively uses this gun just for the simple fact that it fits him so well uh, he, he likes the weight the length is just right for he's, he's got short arms and some of the M4s they they get a little bit long not that he can't use them he can it's just this gun is a lot more comfortable and he likes it he, he likes the look he likes the way it shoots and he's used it in several games now uh, he, we even let him use it full through our three gun course in one of our earlier videos and he, he does really good with it so there you have it guys these are just some of the things that put this gun on top of our list for our four great guns to get you in the field on a budget around 100 bucks uh, and it's definitely around 100 bucks. You can pick them up for $89, which is just a steal for what you're getting here. And uh, is it as good as the KWA gas blowback? Uh, it's two different worlds, two different beasts. Uh, but you can check out Brain Exploder, U.S. Airsoft. Both of them have reviews of the KWA, and they both like them. And this is two channels I really trust their opinions and reviews. So... If you want more info on that, just check them out. And we may one day be seeing us run the gas blow back. But until then, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure.